Good morning. Saturday, I'm out at Deception Pass Park again. Today I'm with Laura and Steve, and we're by the Cornet Bay side. There's some people already out fishing. We've seen some birds, and we're gonna get a hike in before it starts raining. We've come in about a mile, and this is the east side of the park here, looking east. The wind's picked up quite a bit. to go back a little ways and pick up the trail. So far we've pretty much been walking on a paved road. It's been wide. No cars, but uh, real easy to walk on out here about a mile to the viewpoint. We've come in about two miles now, and we're on this trail through the woods, going uphill. Right at the main part of the hike, we're right about sea level, and now we're coming up the highest peak, our area, and this one is around 380 feet, so it's not too high. Well, Steve, what do you think of this trail? Oh, it's real pleasant. Um, nothing much to speak about. The trail's super nice. An uh, easy hike? Easy, easy, easy hike. And what do you think? It's around 40? I'd say 42, maybe. 40, yeah, that's a good guess. Yeah, it's real pretty in here. There was that um, deciduous trees area where there was lots of light, and now we're kind of... There's some stuff to the left. What is that? It's an old car. What's left of an old car or truck. Can you tell how old? Uh, let's say 40. So we have come back out to the road area. There's Deception Pass Bridge and all the water that's going to funnel through there and back. The best time to go through on a boat is the slack tide in between high tide and low tide. under the Deception Pass Bridge. And there is the water going through. We're going to be heading up to the top of Goose Rock now. It's about point four. basically looking south, 
see Cook Harbor. And the mountains behind that is the Olympic Peninsula. We kind of have to ignore the power lines, but that lake that we see there is Cranberry Lake. And behind that is also part of Deception Pass Park. And you can walk along the beach just past that lake. And you can also canoe and kayak in that lake. We're basically looking southwest. There's a real great program on YouTube. Uh, Nick Zentner from Central Washington University talks a lot about geology and he does the Eastern Washington and the Mazama floods and some things like that quite a bit. But he also has a program on our PBS, Nick on the Rocks, and does smaller programs, but you can check that out. Nick Zentner, Z-E-N-T-N-E-R, I believe. Washington, no, Central Washington University's geology department. We're working our way down the back side of this hill. This is a view of the Cornet Bay area. And just to the left of this is where we were earlier this morning. Orangey berries are on a madrona tree, and there are quite a few robins around here enjoying a feast. We've had a real nice hike. The first part this morning was about four and a half miles, and now we're doing just over two. 